So, installing Blade Profiles using the desktop configuration tool Crystal FX. It has some major benefits. Uh, it's really fast. Uh, and it gives a nice overview of the fonts, the Blade Profiles that you're using and the color profiles. So, uh, let's dig in. I'll show you right away. All right, so with the Sabre connected through USB, we can now start to install a Blade Profile to the Sabre. Uh, first, what you want to do is go to the website crystalfocus.net and go to the Blade Profiles to select one of these uh, Blade Profiles from the library. And uh, okay, let's select one, um, maybe one a bit more interesting, the Magna Guard. So, if I want to install this one, I can look it up inside the application and go to the Blade Profiles library. And I remembered it was called uh, uh, Magna. This is it. If I select it, it will give me the list of all the profiles uh, that are here. Uh, it will go uh, show me the, uh, the uh, color profile that is linked to this uh, blade profile. And I can apply this at once to the connected CFX. Um, I'm not connected right now. So what I need to do is uh, I want to make sure that I install this blade and color profile uh, exactly at the place that I would expect them to be. So. Uh, I, want, I don't want to overwrite uh, a lot of fonts, I don't want to overwrite any of my used color and blade profiles. So let's take a look what's on the CFX right now. We'll wait a bit, it will scan the CFX and it's already done. Press OK. Reset the Sabre by pressing the uh, AUX button and try to reconnect. So now we will see here the entire list of all the sound fonts, uh, the blade profiles and the color profiles. Now what's really useful is that this uh, Crystal Effects software will show you uh, which fonts are using which profiles. When you hover over a color profile, you get the list. This is really useful. So, uh, for example, if I change this color profile, all the fonts that are listed here will, uh, will show these changes. So if I would make the blade red over here, then all these fonts will show a red blade. And the same goes for the blade profiles. If I change anything uh, on this blade profile, then all the fonts listed here will uh, demonstrate that change. So what I want to do uh, is I want to select a uh, font that I want to change. Um, okay, the shadow point, that is okay. Now I want to change uh, a blade profile that I don't already use. I want to change a color profile that I don't already use. And I want to link those to this specific font. Now, what I can do is I can uh, power on and power off. And this way, uh, I've got my font set up like uh, it will remember the last uh, blade profile and color profile that I use. So if I ignite and power off, then now these two profiles are linked to the uh, Shutterpoint font. All I have to do right now is say click Apply to CFX. It's already done. I can now press save. And now this uh, blade profile is linked to the Shatterpoint font. It's that easy. Try it yourself. Bye bye.